Rap and hip hop took center stage at the 2018 Grammy Sunday, but lost out again on the top prize for a 14th year in a row. While Bruno Mars and rapper Kendrick Lamar both stole the show and most of the awards. This is for the fans. Thank you guys. Mars' catchy pop won him Album of the Year for 24K Magic. That denied the honor to Lamar's album Damn, which many saw as the favorite heading into the awards. Lamar's own five victories came at the expense of fellow rapper Jay-Z, who had no wins in his eight nominations and chose not to perform. It marks another year of pop music winning over more socially critical work. Best new artist Alessia Cara was the only female to win a major prize. That stood out on a night when the music industry tried to salute the Me Too movement, with an emotional Kesha performing her single Praying next to icons like Cyndi Lauper and an all-female choir. On the red carpet, a few dozen white roses to show support for women's equality, no fashion blackout like Hollywood at the Golden Globes and Screen Actors Guild Awards. But like those shows, a focus on politics and Donald Trump, here played for laughs. We know that our current president does love winning awards. One pre-taped sketch showed celebrity auditions for the job of reading an audiobook of Michael Wolff's controversial Fire and Fury. The winning reader, Hillary Clinton. But not everyone watching was laughing. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley quickly tweeted, Don't ruin great music with trash.